to sleep. Or ASMR whisper, let me bore you to sleep. Something like that. Oh yes. in in it really just on my laptop basically the idea behind it I mean the idea behind Patreon is to for people to help help uh, support their favourite <laughs> favorite as you know a podcaster or youtuber or whatever creator content creator which is kind of what i am i suppose and this what i thought i could do is have my patreon page and then upload an idea. So the idea is basically just to have uh, an opportunity for people to listen to my podcast without adverts. Now admittedly, not every podcast has an advert. You know, they don't always have adverts. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Um, and it's only at the very beginning of the podcast I can't have them in the middle because that spoiled the whole thing. It's a shame really because if I could have adverts in the middle and at the end, not only would it bring money in, but I would also get free podcast hosting because I'd be on a special deal with them because they're making money from me and all that stuff but I'm not eligible for that because I only have the adverts at the beginning so there you go but can you imagine listening to this well you can imagine listening to this because you are listening to it but imagine listening to something like this and then suddenly a loud advert comes on you know halfway through no, that's not acceptable. It's, I mean, there are adverts at the beginning, but, you know, when they are, when they are played, they will be louder than the actual recording because you can't, <laughs> you can't request for the adverts to be whispered. You know what I mean? So... And it's quite hard to have a high... The, what I found is quite difficult to make a whisper recording at a high level volume without the background hissing and stuff. I try and make it as loud as I can. But ultimately it's a very low volume kind of recording. Potentially needing or requiring headphones, I suppose. Uh, this company, another thing, a company is called, shout out to me, asking me to, if I'd be interested.
interested in promoting their headphones. It is special headphones that you can wear when you're asleep whilst listening to sleep podcasts or music or whatever you know you're listening to. I listen to audiobooks when I'm asleep. So I thought what I said to them was I'm interested but I would not refuse to uh, promote something that I don't know, that I don't personally use or that I don't believe is good. So I said if you can send me a pair of these headphones to test I will test them properly to see whether or not they're comfortable and they work okay. And then uh, maybe I can suggest and let people know about them. And uh, the man said, okay, so they're sending me a pair. I'm not sure about having something inside my ear. The only reason is because I don't... You know, the headphones that come with the iPhone, well, they used to, I don't know if they still do. Those ones that go inside your ear and they've got the cord that go into the phone. Um, I don't know if I've got particularly large areolas but they fall out of my ear. There's, I don't know if they're just the inside of my ear, the areola. I think it might just be too too big, too large, and they fall out. Um, I don't know. So if you've got large areolas, it might not be good. They might not be. Uh, you might have the same problem. And the other thing, I did get some of those earbuds that are, again, I think they're Apple, this is a few years ago, that fit into your ear, and they're wireless, and they're really good, but they also get falling out of my ear, large areola, so I don't know if they... There was, I remember I got one that was kind of, I've seen some that you can get that are a bit larger, but they're plastic or foamy, and they fit into your ear and they kind of stay in, but, I don't know, I used to have some headphones that went around your ear, and that, that was a little bit easier. I used to pretend I was in Star Trek. And then, the best headphones I've ever had is, I haven't used them for a while, but uh, Beat, Beats, I think they're called. And they're just really good. I used to use them all the time. Why not all the time? can't use them in bed because they're too big but the sound, they're sound cancelling or noise cancelling so when you're playing them I'm about to explain to you what noise cancelling means you know what that means don't you so why would I okay when okay when I was playing them when I had them on my head I covered my ears well, they just didn't cover my whole of my ears because my ears are so big, but um, they covered the areola. They didn't go inside my ear, but just about covered that part. And because my ears are twice the size of my head, so which I think is normal. That could explain why. Even feeling my dogs, it's like, what are you hearing? I said, can't you hear that? I said, 
no, I'm a dog, I should be able to hear it better than you. How come you can hear better than me? Which is weird, because dogs can't talk. So, I, I said, um, but yeah, when someone's knocking at the door, I can't hear them. If I've got the headphones on, and I'm listening to music, I suppose one of the problems is I have a tendency of listening too loud. I suppose you can't listen too loud, can you? Playing the music too loudly for my eardrums. I'm not, I, I tried to ask my eardrums what a good level was, but I got no response. So, uh, but it's, I'm not really into loud music, per se, but sometimes, sometimes, I really am. I really do. That's, that's why it's kind of like a, a pancake moment. So in my country, we have a thing called Shrove, Shrove Tuesday, Trove Tuesday, something like that, and it's it's some kind of religiousy thing, I don't know, Hindu or something, and we eat pancakes. So the people eat pancakes. It's got nothing to do with religion. It's just a traditional thing now. Tradition, a traditional thing. And Pancake Day. They try and make out it's a shrove. Do you like, no, Pancake Day. Always on a Tuesday. Not every Tuesday, just once a year. I think it's February. And it's good because it breaks up that that period between Christmas and Easter when there's not a lot happening and February for those that don't enjoy rubbish weather um, maybe need a little bit of a lift a little bit of a pick me up a little bit of a well a pancake really so every It's not the same date every year, otherwise um, they'd have to keep moving the days around, wouldn't they? It's like saying with this year, we're changing, so Tuesday's going to be that day. And, you know, it's just be confusing. So, I mean, I confuse myself to the point where I'm not going to continue talking about the dates. Because I lost, I got lost then. What what seemed to make sense ceased to make sense. There was a, a significant change in my understanding <laughs> in, in the moment of what I was actually trying to uh, get across. The point I was trying to convey so pancake day if those people maybe some people don't know what pancakes are or they've they got them okay pancakes are different for different people um, a bit like love you know it's different for different people everyone's got their own little thing that they recognize uh, I've seen I've never been to America I'd like to go but, and I have had pancakes in American diners over here and they're nothing like pancakes they're completely different they're lovely but they're not pancakes the same thing as what we call pancakes. Now, I'm not sure what 
what's in them. I know this egg. I think there's flour. And I don't know if it's plain flour or self-raising flour. Differences between self raising flour and I guess automatic, no, manually, manual raising flour, I suppose. Maybe that's just normal flour. Does that just mean you haven't got to like lift it up? It just, I don't know, it travels from the bag into the saucepan without. A spoon, I don't know. I really don't know. But so I think it's milk. Oh, milk. I think there's milk involved. Unless it's just eggs and milk. No, I submit that that's an omelet, isn't it? So eggs, it's kind of like an omelet. But a pancake. It's got eggs and milk and flour. I think flour's involved. But then what happens is you, 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 you mix the mixture first in a bowl. I mean, it can be a bucket. You know, it could be a... I guess you could do it in a... Basin or inside a sturdy waterproof hat. I mean, it doesn't have to be a bowl, but that's generally the kind of thing you have around the kitchen. A ceramic bursted football, or something, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, you could put it generally. not the bowl. I mean, you could have a stone bowl. I imagine people used to have stone bowls, didn't they? Back in the Stone Age. Do you imagine everything being made of stone? Toilet paper. Ouch. So, I... Yes, yeah, so you got... You make the mixture first... frying pan on the oven or on the hob the gas the whatever electric gas and then I'm, I suppose you put some butter or margarine or oil into the sauce the, the, not sauce but the uh, frying pan is it where we say sauce pan but frying pan is that a saucepan? I don't say frying bun. Just like it's New Land, not New Lund. Even though everybody else in the world says New Lund, including all my family. They don't know how to pronounce their own surname. Ridiculous. So, you got the frying bun. You, you boil up the or the fry the oil or you know, until it's like hot and then you pour in some of the liquid the pancake mi liquid I was going to say pancake mix because I think you can buy it and it's basically the size of the sauce frying pan. It's the size of the frying pan. Inside. And it's flat. And then after about a minute, maybe less, I don't know, because I've, I can't remember if I've ever actually made any. I might have done. And then you toss it. You have a 
Toss. So basically you, do, you start tossing and uh, when you finish that you, you turn the pancake over and I think the idea is it's not like golden brown kind of or not but not burnt ideally not burnt that's one of the main rules not burnt Most burnt food tastes a bit rubbish. Not all though. What's, what kind of burnt food tastes nice? Um, oh, I'll tell you what I like to burn. Do you know the uh, toffee puddings that you get? That you put in the microwave? And they're only supposed to be in there for a minute. I like to put them in for a little bit longer. So that the toffee burns. And it's crunchy and oh, yum, 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 yum. I leave it in there for about three hours. Oh, yum, 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 yum. I remember eating, eating that, that, that toffee, burnt toffee pudding. Oh, it's lovely. I remember the fire. The firefighters asking me what I was doing. Why I was still sitting there. What was I was like, eating me pudding. They said, yeah, but the house is on fire. Why? How did you get it out of the microwave? The microwave is melted. Out. I said, no, there's ways. There's always a way. Oh, it's yummy. Actually, I was holding the microwave. I was just eating the microwave. It's It just... It turned the microwave into toffee and sponge. <laughs> oh, what the hell am I talking about? So, yeah, pancake day. They taste. I'm going to say something very controversial right now. Please, please don't forgive me. Now, I've not been to America, so I've not had a proper. American pancake. Okay, so I'm, that's going to be my. So I'm not saying I could not compare. And it's something that I hope to do one day. It is one of the places I'd really love to go to. Out of all the places that I've not been to yet, I'd like to go to America, Canada. Australia, New Zealand. Uh, I quite like to go to different European countries. Denmark, Sweden. I've been to Sweden, but only in the airport. Um, Switzerland. I've never been to Germany. I'd like to go to Russia. I'd like to go to China. It's it's one of those things I know there's all controversy about. Um, this isn't the controversial thing that I'm saying, by the way. I'm talking about pancakes. Never met. I've never met a Russian person that I didn't like. And I've never met a Chinese person. No, I, I have never met a Chinese person that I didn't like. And you might think, well, you couldn't have met many. Well, I've met a few. I lived in London for the whole of my 20s, and I, I worked with people from all over the world. I dated people from all over the world. All corners of the planet. I mean, if you've never been to London, I guess it's... I've heard it's kind of like New York, in a sense of multicultural... But it's the most multicultural place on the planet. London is. And so I've met people from everywhere. And during that period, we were allowed that the whole of Europe could go anywhere they wanted. Any part of the European Union could basically... 
actually travel and live in any of the other European countries and work, no visas needed, none of that stuff. They could, you know, so London being the most, uh, being a place where there's the most amount of people in one area. And I don't know what it is, 10, 11 million people. This is, London is not a big place, not really. I mean, it's bigger than my foot, but it's not huge in a sense of how many people live there. And it's, but then you, you, a lot of places are quite similar, like, you know, the, the cities are, as far as I'm aware, places like Liverpool, Manchester, they're the main cities in the UK, uh, Manchester, in, in England, Manchester, Birmingham, I think Newcastle. Liverpool, Nottingham, Leeds, anywhere where there's a, a university, a big university seems to be a, quite a, a populated area. I suppose it makes sense because of the, the students. You know, if you've got 10, 12, 12 15,000 students, that's a big influx of new people coming in every single year, isn't it? What's that got to do with pancakes? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I'd like to go to different places, so... I mean, there's places in this country that I'd like to visit. Ideally, I'd like to just be on the road. Not on... Li literally on a road. an idea I'd quite like to travel around this country to start with and just travel from hotel to hotel that are pet friendly and do like a review, a hotel review, a restaurant review and just find places around the country that are pet friendly so I can take Vinny with me and then look around, look at the sites and see what's around and what facilities and what, what's around there because I'm, I'm guessing this, well I've looked for pet friendly hotels and there are a few out there. There's a lot that aren't. And I'd like to see how they operate. And maybe some hotels will change into pet friendly hotels if they see that there's a financial benefit to them to do so. You know, i.e., more customers. Because I not I don't I can't afford to stay in hotels, but even if I could, I can't leave Vinny. He's I can't leave him. I has he has to come with me wherever I go. I could leave him for a few hours, but I can't leave him for days because it's not fair on him. He's very attached to me. Maybe I'm attached to him as well. We annoy each other in equal measures. I think that would be... Um, yeah, I think if I left him here for a couple of weeks... For him, that would be a, a bit like having a, a knee replacement. So 
is now out of pain. His knee doesn't hurt anymore. But it just feels weird. He misses the whole thing surrounding the old knee. Having to limp, having to be careful about walking upstairs, things like that. And now he hasn't got to worry about that. Or even be thinking about it. Yeah, he feels a bit nostalgic. So, to him, I'm an old, crappy knee that needs replacing. That's not good, that's not good, is it? I can't believe he's so rude. The things he says about me. I mean, his main thing, constantly, All I hear, even not to my face sometimes, I just say, you're not my real dad. And he runs off. I hear him just moaning about me sometimes in a, in a different room. We should stay in the kids' home. I would have been better off with the nuns. Why would you have to come and save me? Like, okay. I like being an orphan. Blindly, you know, it's just, he gets everything he wants. Well, he doesn't get everything he wants because if he got everything he wanted, well, I'd be living in a mansion with a huge garden the size of about 15 fields. He'd be able to come and go as he pleases, and he would have there'd be about thousand bedrooms and each of those bedrooms would have a different dog because he loves dogs so he'd have thousands of dogs living around him and he'd just spend all day playing with them and I'd have to have a pack of every single type of dog food because He's so fussy when it comes to what he eats. Which is kind of ironic considering the things that he puts in his mouth when we're walking around the streets. He's not so fussy then. You know, he'll happily pick a worm up. Or worse. condom out of the drain the other day I'm like and you won't eat your food to cost me ten pound like you won't eat that but you'll eat a used condom how what doesn't make sense to me and he said well take a taste you'll see if you just taste it you'll understand I said no I don't want to touch it I don't no condom he said well it's your your loss I mean you can judge me but how can you really judge me if you don't know why I'm doing what I'm doing judge me it's all oh it's a horrible thing to do you don't know what it tastes like I didn't say I don't know what it tastes like I'm saying I just don't want it it's but no, thank you. Obviously, you do know what it tastes like. I didn't say that either. I am the parent. You are the child. Doesn't feel like that, though, does it? Sometimes it feels like you're the little child. Moaning, 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 moaning. Always moaning, moaning, moaning. Vinny, stop it. We actually had an argument the other day. And uh, I can't believe it. I'm the one that ended up on the naughty step. Because everything's reversed. You're not my real dad. I was like, as Andre used to say that to me as well. In the past, it's such a low blow. Anyway, pancakes. So. I've never been to America. 
I've never tasted the real American pancakes. I have been to some American diners in the UK. I figured, wrongly or rightly, that they would be using the same recipe. And although I like those pancakes, they're nothing like our pancakes. Completely different. Taste different, everything. So, I'd be interested. Well, I mean, it's a weird thing to maybe want to travel. I don't know how far away America is. Was it three, four thousand miles? It's not that far, really, is it? To have a pancake. But, I've done sillier things in my life. I think you can get to New York in about four hours. I'm pretty sure from here. So you could just have a weekend. You, me, I mean. Could just have a weekend, go there for... Leave on the Friday. Come back on the Monday. Or come back on the Sunday. What I would like to do is go to a comedy club in New York or any any kind of place of America. I'd like to go to a comedy club, but particularly the comedy store. I think it's in New York. Maybe it's in Boston. Um, I think it's New York. The comedy could be in San Francisco. California, I'm pretty sure it's New York, but the comedy store used to be run by a lady called Mitzi, I think, and we had our own comedy store in London, late 70s onwards, and I performed there, I think, once. I've been, well, in the 90s I went a few times. It's a great little, it's a great club, it really is, I loved it. It's just something special about the place. Yeah, it is, it's just, yeah, I don't know, for me it just, it was special. Special. pancake right now. I do like pancakes. Yum, 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 yum. Oh yeah, over here also we, well I say we when I was a kid because I've not really had pancakes regularly. Like every year. I mean, can yearly be regularly? I mean, Christmas is regular, isn't it? It's every year, it's still regular. So, Christmas. 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 Of Christian to Christians celebrate Christmas. I get muddled up sometimes, I'm not sure. I mean, there's so many different religions there. I, I like Christmas before. I'm not so fond of it during because I'm on my own. also do his voice as well. It's not quite the same as having a human being who's I can talk to. Um, maybe. I might one day have a Christmas.
Christmas. Like a proper Christmas again. It'd be nice. But, you know, every year now at Christmas I stay in. I watch a bit of telly and themselves are a bit um, a bit too remindy they remind me too much of stuff it's like oh yeah so it's but pancakes they're not on Christmas they're Shrove uh, Wednesday or whatever it is once a year on a on a Thursday so there's this and the take what you do is you put we put this lemon not melon, lemon. Squeeze lemon or lemon juice. Like we have these like um bli what's the name of the lemon juice? Squidgy Lemonola Lemon Squeezy. I forget the name of it. And it's kind of in the shape of a little lemon, but it's yellow, because lemons aren't lemons like green, but this is yellow, and it's like a little squeezy bottle. So I remember when we used to use up, use it all up, I could then have it and use it in the bath, and I could squirt, I'd like, like squirt myself in the face with it. I remember my brother uh, put in like a fresh bottle and I squirted myself in the eyes and that wasn't so pleasant. Oh, God, I get it wrong. It wasn't my brother, it was my dad. Anyway, everyone laughed. I didn't laugh. I, I, when I say everyone laughed, I mean I could hear it. I couldn't see them all. Obviously, but it sounded like everyone was laughing. But it was good because it could, when when it was clean of the lemon, uh, could squeeze it. It was like a little water pistol, but without the. Well, it wasn't in the shape of a water pistol. It was like a, a water lemon pistol lemon. And I'd squeeze it and I'd like squirt water at different places. I think me and my brother, my older brother, um, used to, we used to share the bath until I was, probably until I was about eight or maybe seven, eight, maybe six. We used to share the bath. Because I think by the time I got to seven, he turned twenty. <laughs> um, that's not. This <laughs> it's not true. Blimey! But we used to share the bath. Um, yeah, we were roughly the same age. So it's squirt. <laughs> we'd, I'm going to move away from there. We squared at each other using it. I didn't. It wasn't the only squirty thing I had. We did have water pistols and blimey, what other things that I used to have in the bath? I remember I had a dolphin that I used to wind up. Basically, just it would swim. Um, sometimes I ran out of uh, nasty things to say to it, so I couldn't get it wound up properly. But what 
house that I have. I think I had a little monkey. No, that was my brother. What did I have? A dolphin. A Rubik's Cube. Some Lego. said it's weird when I was in the bath people my family used to come and just chuck stuff in the bath while I was in it I mean sewing machine frying pan kite it's like just because I said like I wish I had more toys to play with in the bath very literal, my family. But it was good. It was fun. I mean, I was so tiny. I could dodge most things. I was so small. I could actually jump in and out of the bath without getting wet. I think that's a scientific joke, I think. If you were small enough, you probably could do that. I wasn't nearly that small. Oh dear, oh dear. Pancakes. Oh, we used to, we used to put um, lemon or lemon juice on the pancakes and a huge amount of sugar. Oh my goodness. Oh, it was the, the sweet and sour really worked. I think that's where the Chinese restaurants and takeaways got the idea of sweet and sour. Before they came here one day, came to England, and they had a, they had a, a pancake. And I was saying, uh, what is a, this a pancake? And um, I said, well, it's it's kind of like a, it's not like the American pancake. Do you have an American diner? Although I've never actually been to America, but I've been to American diners in this country. And there are different. Could you stop? No, no, no. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Uh, tell me about uh, the pancakes uh, that you make here. Uh. Okay. Weird accent. You a weird accent. Oh, that was slightly. You're a weird. Uh, 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 okay. Let's stop doing. Okay, I'll give myself an accent so that covers it. I will now give you. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. I'm stopping. I'm stopping. I now give you a nice. Here's the recipe to the pancakes. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. The pancakes, yeah. So, the giant may be a Chinese person. A man, woman, or other, one of the different types is had a pancake and thought, very, very plain, very, very plain, it's very plain, and then someone said, no, no, you don't realise, it's not ready yet. Not ready yet. What do you mean? It's it's not ready to eat yet. But how come it's not ready? Well, it's we have a, we still need to add something to it. Wait, wait. This is gonna blow your mind. This is gonna make your socks smell gorgeous. Which is a very 
a strange thing to say when you talk about food. Anyway, like pour in the. I mean, you don't have to do it in any particular order. Uh, I personally would probably put the sugar on first, and then sprinkle the. Uh, what's it called? The lemon juice on next. Because then the lemon juice soaks into the sugar. However, if you sp if you squirt the lemon juice on first and then sprinkle the sugar on, the sugar then does soak into the lemon juice. I guess it works either way. And then gently you'd roll up the pancake. and just enjoy all the different tastes the sweet and the sour and the sweet and the sour and it's like oh that's so good and and you can and I think the Chinese person said I thought that was really handsome I really enjoyed that I think I might go home and try out some kind of pancake sweet and sour technique for myself. And uh, that's how I think sweet and sour pork came to be. I might be wrong. I was wrong. In fact, last year I was wrong two and a half times. So it can happen. It's rare, but it can happen. How did I get onto the subject of pancakes? I do love pancakes. It's no lie. I really like pancakes a lot. A real lot. In fact, I would say about as much as, as the next person. I don't think I've had a pancake for 20 years, maybe nearly 30 years. The last time I had a pancake that I remember was about 2000 and f no, 1994. I might have had one since then. I don't remember it. I don't remember it. I don't remember everything that's happened. It's impossible. I'm too old now. Ever since I turned 90, I just... It's too much to remember, you know. Too much. That's a lot of time. That's a lot of booze. I can't think why I started talking about the thing. Anyway, I hope you're well. I hope you're well. And uh, I'm going to go now because Vinny needs to go for a walk. You know what? Last night, well it wasn't, it was during the night. 1.30 in the morning, hassling me to go for a walk, like moaning and sitting on the floor, staring at me, and I was just falling asleep again, and I like hear a, it wasn't that kind of sound, but it was a sound, just imagine the sound of a dog moaning. No, it was nothing like that either. In order for me to do it, I'd have to stop whispering. So, and I thought eventually he'd gone away or he'd gone to the bed because he's so light I don't even hear him when he gets on the bed. I couldn't 
could see him on the floor. I looked over, I turned the light on, and he was there staring at me. So I took him out. He didn't even want to go out to the toilet. He wasn't interested in the toilet. He just wanted to go for a walk. 1.30 in the morning. There's no street lights on. I'm not walking around the park in pitch black. I'm not doing it. I'm not. Sorry. I ain't doing that. It's, I guess he doesn't really... Hasn't got a concept of day and night. But... He's still in bed now. And it's 9.47am. So I guess I'm going to have to take him out for a little walk. And then... He probably heard that. Little. And I... I have um, a nice cup of tea when I get back and some wheat picks. Yum, 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 yum. And then I'll edit this, upload it, and that will be done. Da da done, done. What's going on in the world? Uh, partly because I don't know. I was searching online for some positive websites, and I went on YouTube to find positive YouTube channels. There's a really, really, it's scarce, honestly. If you wanted, th there's more videos of monkeys scratching their bums than there are positive news stories. And, and I think surely that can't be the case. There's so many good things happen around the world. So many. Every day. And it's not being reported. Those people involved know about it. Maybe the local town knows about it. It's just... It amazes me. Maybe there's no money in it. That's why no one's doing it. Oh. Perhaps I need to start my own video channel. Or start a thing. Good news, YouTube good news, and find stuff out. Ask people to send stories in. Maybe make some up, I don't know. That's not like me, though. I don't like to make things up. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Thank you very much, everybody, for listening. Remember to be kind to yourself. Remember to be gentle with yourself. You deserve to be happy. Lots of love.